My name is Muaz Khan and in 2009 I set up a project called Generation Without Prejudice and what we do is we organise training sessions and workshops around issues such as homelessness, bullying, racism and things like that that affect the community. Following a number of years of volunteering um, I realised that there was much more that I could do and there was much more that I could give back to the community. Over the years I think we've mentored and trained approximately 700 young people. It's really heartening to see that young people maturing and giving them those skills and giving them the confidence to deliver the projects themselves. I had the opportunity to carry the Olympic torch. That was a big achievement for me and I hope that it was a testament again to the hard work and the dedication of Generation Without Prejudice because at the end of the day, we're all working towards the same goals which is to better our community and to better our society and I think that the more we break down barriers between our communities, the stronger we'll be in the future. My name is Pauline King and I work for Bryce Eye Trust. We work with lots of young people from all walks of life, from leaving care, uh, hard to reach young people, young offenders, you name it, we work with them. And you know, you work with these dead hard lads and they're actually kids and it makes me want to cry because these kids have never been kids because they've had to grow up. What can I say? Don't because you'll have me crying because I love them. I absolutely adore them. Kids are wonderful and you know no kids ever born bad. Never, never, ever give up looking for the good in kids. They're like little buds and they flower. Oh, I love it. I do, I love it. I have the best job in the world. Take half an hour out to talk to young people. Treat them as equals treat them with respect and you'd be amazed what you get back. I have kids who I worked with eight years ago come back, they're married, they've got kids, they come back and see me. I must have worked with hundreds of young people and I've loved every minute of it. My name's Seb, I'm from Wolverhampton in East London. I oversee the Salam Peace Community Engagement Programme. Salam Peace originally was set up in 2008-2009 around the back of 7-7 and 9-11. At that point there was a lot of negative press around British Muslims. I felt there was a need to bridge that gap and promote positive relationships between the two and also show the community can come together as a whole regardless of what the press is saying. So Lam Peace predominantly is about engaging people in activities and then once we engage them we address a range of agendas whether it's engaging young people who've had difficult backgrounds and been in the youth justice system, whether there's people who've been out of employment and ed education. It's always around kind of promoting positive ways of living, using good local role models and inspiring change. The, the proudest thing for me has been seeing people develop into future leaders so we've got a range of ex-participants and current participants that are now teachers, youth workers, one's a policeman and so they continue to contribute to the community. With what we do now you actually see on a day-to-day -day the positive effects you do have and that's always something that's really really rewarding.